Well, hello, you are watching Steph on the pedal, and today I'd like to talk a little bit about Google Pay, Apple Pay, uh, your Instacart payment card, and a few other things that I hear a lot of questions being asked about. So I did a lot of research, and I'm trying to give you the best possible information. So before we get into that, I just wanna let you know that I am currently doing a giveaway. So this giveaway, I'm giving away four Instacart approved insulated bags. And I'll leave the company link to below along with all of the instructions that you need in order to enter the giveaway. I will be choosing a winner once my Instacart Facebook group hits 3,000 followers, members. And then, uh, yeah. Uh, you'll kind of have your color option or your choice of color as far as the bags go And then I'm also including a set of reusable produce bags. So pretty cool. Make sure you go enter that So it seems like there is a lot of confusion about Google Pay Apple Pay how everything works and I gotta tell you, I am almost just as confused about this, I think, as everyone else, and I have looked so heavily into it. So I actually started a conversation within my Facebook group, and I asked what everyone's experience was using Google or Apple Pay, because I actually just waited on my Instacart payment card to arrive, and I never set up Google or Apple Pay before that. But if you don't know, you can actually get started before you receive your Instacart payment card. And how you do that is you set up Google or Apple Pay in your phone. So I'm actually, before we get into this, I'm just gonna show you really fast how you can set up Google or Apple Pay in your phone because I've waited to do this just so I can record it for you. So the top left, you wanna click those three little lines, the hamburger icon. And then you're gonna scroll down to profile. So it might just look like this. You have to click on profile to expand it. And then you're gonna type, hit my payment card. And you see right here, I have the option to add Apple Pay. So now I'm just gonna click add to Apple Wallet. All right, and then they're just sending a verification code to my phone that I have to enter in, which, yeah. And that's really all there is to it. So now I have Apple Card available, so I can use that as a payment method when I go to check out with the Instacart. So what they do is they just add, it's not coming out of your own money, it's Instacart that's actually added to your wallet, essentially, your Google or Apple wallet in your phone. Now, all right, there's just some terms and conditions here that I'm gonna go ahead and accept. All right, now you can see that I actually have the payment all set up. I personally think it's good to go ahead and set up Apple or Google Pay, even if you already have your Instacart payment card, because it will kind of act as a backup for you, say if anything ever happens to your card, or if you have any issues checking out with your card. Now, Here's where it gets a little weird. So most people are asking questions about Google or Apple Pay because they actually want to set it up before they receive their card so they can start shopping more quickly. So to that, the first thing that I want you to do is I want you to see if your, lo if your city has a pickup location. So some cities will have an option for you to go pick up your card in person, which means you can get a lot faster than if Instacart were to uh, ship it to you. So Instacart says that it should only take five to seven business days for you to get your card. Now you can see all of this information that I have found by going to your help section and just for the super new people let me go ahead and show you how to do that so let's say you're on your dashboard the help section is going to be the question at the very top right and then what you can do is go into the search bar and if you just type in card into the search bar you can see getting my instacart payment card and there's all these different topics in here that you can look at so like i said it's supposed to take five to seven business days uh, for you to receive your card however there have been some delays on those so 
they say if it takes longer than five to seven, uh, biz, or, I'm sorry, they say if your card hasn't arrived within 10 days that they want you to contact them. And to contact them, that your easiest way to contact them is going to be if you see at the top right hand corner, there's this little guy with a headset button. You click on that and that's going to initiate a chat with support. And I'm gonna go ahead and get out of that because, ah, because I don't need to talk with support right now. Whoops. Okay, so what I was talking about picking up your card in person. So right here, pick, pick up locations for payment cards. And they give you a step-by-step -step process on how to see if your city actually has a pickup uh, location. But keep this in mind, the how, like searching through Instacart's little help section has been very beneficial to me. Like almost any question that I ever have about Instacart, if you go in and try to search for it, most likely you're going to find the answer. And if you can't figure out the answer to something, you can always reach out to support or you should join my Facebook group, Instacart Shoppers by Steph on the Pedal. Gonna have that link below super helpful so here's the thing if you can't pick up your card in person and you do want to start right away that is when you should go ahead and try to use google or apple pay so after you get that set up you should start to receive batches here's the thing where people seem to differ on this i have asked lots of people if after you set up either google or apple pay if you only receive batches uh, for stores that will take Google or Apple Pay because what you have to keep in mind is not all grocery stores take These payments So you kind of have to be careful. So what a lot of people have said is That once you get either Google or Apple Pay set up that you actually only receive batches for that and I would say majority of people have said that but the thing is, is that there are enough people that have said they've run into issues, like they ended up doing a batch at a store that didn't accept that payment, that I would really be careful if I were you. I've also reached out to, I, I have a personal Instacart, like tier three support contact that I've reached out to, and he said you should get batches for all areas. Now. I know this might be a really weird and specific question and uh, sometimes support isn't all on the same page. So for that, like, I'm just going with, I don't want to tell you that you're only going to receive batches for stores that accept this payment when it seems to me that might not be the case. All right. I would at least go about it as if that isn't the case. And this is what I would personally do if I were to go back and start shopping before I ever received my payment card. So, shopping with uh, Google Pay or Apple Pay is actually called Mobile Pay. And if you type in Mobile Pay into the Instacart help section, then you're gonna go to where it says checking out in the app. And then you say, use mobile checkout. Now, here is a huge list of stores that do not accept mobile pay. So to me, this list doesn't feel that helpful. You can kind of get a gauge for what stores in your area don't accept it. But if I were you, what I would do is actually look for stores in your area that do accept it and create yourself like a short list of those stores. That way when you're actually waiting to get a batch, you can look at your short list really fast and compare it and know that the store that you're about to take a batch for will actually accept your mobile pay. So I have actually found a website that lists companies that accept Google and Apple Pay. So what I'll do is I'll leave that linked for you bef below in the description box. But I really feel like that's that's going to be the best way to go about this for you just to be rather I'd rather be safe than sorry. Um, and, you know, absolute worst case scenario, if you do end up at a store where you're you have no way to check out with Google Pay, Apple Pay, you don't have your Instacart payment card. 
then what you can do, I wouldn't suggest doing this, but what you can do is you actually can pay for the order out of your own pocket and then Instacart will reimburse you later. Now the only thing I don't like about this is that I, I've heard a lot of people say that they have paid for an order, they get the reimbursement really quickly, but I've also heard people have issues with this to where there's some, some hang up and it's taking them longer than it should for them to get reimbursed by Instacart. So me personally, I would never want to take that chance that I somehow am gonna be sitting for days or whatever waiting on a reimbursement from Instacart not into that so I really would if I were you just the grocery stores that are in your area just maybe do a checklist and say yes okay they accept mobile payment and then keep that list a post-it note in your car for when you're going to accept batches but best way for you to say thank you for making this video is by giving me a thumbs up it really helps me with the YouTube algorithm so I would appreciate it so so much and subscribe to this channel because I will make more Instacart related content for you okay see you soon